there. Is it really? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, go I'm for this, it. Please. All right, guys, we just arrived here at Daikaku for the annual New Year's meet here. Check out all the skylines lined up here. There's literally 30 plus, I would say. All right, maybe less than 30. Maybe there's like 20. Oh, yeah. Banana hot chocolate, baby. And that's pretty clean. C43 AMG. I like that. Keeping it classy, baby. That's when AMGs used to mean something. These days, not so much. Ah, look at this Impala. We got a lot of Porsches over there. We got a TDF and a really six spec. A lot of Nissan GTRs. Guys, it's only 6.30. Long day ahead, baby. Let's go. Trucks rolling in. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No way. <laughs> look at that. I should have brought my poster. He's not looking at that. He's got extra tips. No way. The Bosoku squad. <laughs> wow. I should have brought mine, dude. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. That's nice. This TDF's got a matching A12 right over here. Super fast. GT3 and charcoal gray. A couple RWBs. Got the Louis bag in the back there. Of course, here we go, guys. Look at this. This is insane. Ha. Guys, I think we messed up here. We brought the S600 to the Daikaku annual New Year's meet. We should have brought the Bose's open car instead. Damn. <laughs> insane. Wait, check out the inside. No way. Yeah. Old school is the new school. 348 Spire with a... Looks like a Koenig wing, honestly. Wide interior, interesting. And of course, the Countach. Mm, guys, this is what could have been right here. The Mercedes E500. Oh my God, look at that. What a beaut, minus the wheels. As you can see, the crowd has grown considerably here. It's completely jam-packed. The lot is at full capacity. Is that Aaron Chun from Weibo? Oh, it is with the beanie. I hear a lot of uh, V12s. Oh my good lord. They have definitely arrived. Here we go. <laughs> That's hot. God damn, son. Whole crew's rolling up here. We're going to stand right here. There's another SV 
SVJ in a similar spec, but it's got blue wheels. That one has a star dropper exhaust. These guys got the power craft exhaust. I literally just turned around and look at this. Whole crowd just chilling. Oh boy. <laughs> as well so we're not entirely sure what to do or where to go it's only noon last year we were here until like 5 6 7 p.m. so yeah not looking too good police right there is it really yeah it's right there oh go how about for this it. police with the S600 with the brilliant exhaust. Dude, guys, I've been saying brilliant exhaust for the past God know how many months. That's the name of the brand. A lot of people actually still ask me, what is the name of the exhaust? It's by Brilliant. And of course, the E60 M5 with the, yes, the brilliant exhaust. This is a one-off. Does this sound better than say an Eisenman exhaust that costs, let's say, a quarter of the price at around 35 to 4,000 US dollars? There's Meister shaft. There's also uh, Dynan as well. Denon or Dynan? I don't even know. The pitch is amazing. So we're gonna do some more tunnel runs later tonight. There's a lot of traffic, so you know things are a little hectic. But hey, it is what it is. If the police had not kicked us out of Daikaku. Well, we wouldn't be here, so anyways, stay tuned. Also an E60 AMG hiding right over there. Check this out. This is their brand of wheels that they're selling here for around, I think 5,500 US dollars for a full set of four, excluding tires and installation. Now, which one should I pick up guys? Top, middle, or bottom? Let me know in the comments below. We might have to pick up a set of wheels and install them back in the US. This place is Crazy! They got everything for old school AMGs and Mercedes. Let's check out the uh, E60 AMG right over here. They got a couple of pretty cool cars in the back. Look at the color, absolutely perfect. Wheels on wheels on wheels. We got the original AMG wheels. I don't think these are for sale, so uh, yeah. They got just parts, Mercedes parts left and right here, guys. Look at this, side mirrors and steering wheels, airbags. Doug DeMiro just did a video on the 500 E's. We still have the 94 E500 chassis sitting around at uh, my buddy Marcus's friend's shop back in Los Angeles. So when we get back to the States, I don't know, should we still continue with the restoration project? I know we got a lot going on with all the cars in, America, in Japan, rather. Check this out, original AMG wheels right here, but these are not for sale. Of course, we got the, uh, oh, it's in service position. Let's take a quick look here. Dude, this is insane. Hold on, let's take a look. Ooh. Perfect condition. 
Here's the back stock I was telling you guys about. 500E. E60 AMG. Is this a dark blue? Yep. It's got their wheels on it. And of course, what is this? Just right. another old body kit. This is their brand of wheels. If you guys are interested in anything Mercedes, old school AMG, make sure to check out J Auto, guys. The salesman was extremely accommodating, very friendly. Currently here at Hills Auto with a 190E. Behind the gate, unfortunately, they are closed. You can sort of see that through these uh, slats, so to speak. And there's an Enzo all the way right over here. And there's a white Countach. Very nice. And I think he's like, police is like spotting cars that look aggressive. They it's look aggressive. Yeah, because it only goes for the Ferrari oh, and okay. the Supra. But no one oh, else. No one else. Okay, yeah. well. We got the new Supra, and we got the fail side. Oh, look at that. And he's gone. There it is, boom. Wild Koenigsegg CCX in the wild. Nice. Back at Tatsumi, guys. We're uh, essentially homeless right now because the Daikaku uh, parking lot is still closed, but we are in good hands. We got a lot of cool cars here. Boom. Oh yeah. Right next to the Countach. Let's go take a look. I'm telling you guys right now, check out the old school combos here. Got the Countach, we got the Carrera RS, we got the Diablo GT, got a GT3 right next to me as well. And the sun is setting, so, ah, uh, very picturesque. It's one YouTuber versus 50 photographers. <laughs> Correction, so I've been saying this has been a $12,000 $13,000 exhaust. In fact, it is actually rounded up to 14,000 US dollars, including installation, including removing the original uh, exhaust and the whole system and getting rid of that. What in the good Lord's name is going on here? This is insane. There's a lot of take in, guys. There's a lot of take in. There's a lot of cars rolling through. Look at the front splitter. Look at the arrow. Look at the little winglets. Just everything. 